We are at a local quilt show today in Spruce Grove. Spruce Grove. Spruce Grove. <laughs> this is my friend Susan. Say hello. Hello. And it's awfully cold. It's very cold and it's in a church and I can't wait. Okay, we are in. This is a very big quilt show actually. Oh, look at this. This is kind of yours. That's kind of nice. It's hard to get all the quilts on properly. Yeah, but they're sure nice. Okay, so this is the one that haunts me everywhere I go. What is it called? Big something or other. The pattern. It's called the big something or other. Somebody comment down below what it's called. I see it everywhere. That one and the elephant. See, I like this one. I like this. I do like that one. Yes, I like this one. I do like that one. Look at how the uh, thread work is. Too zoomed in. Oh, I really like that one. I'm gonna get zoomed yeah. in a bit more. They put a, How have they done this? Is it applique? Piping, piping. You know that's all. Uh, Maybe crayon work. Uh, yeah. Or, oh, or, ink tents. Have they used uh, ink tents? And embroidery, right? I don't know what kind of crayon it was. Oh, it's crayon. It's so I've heard that some people do um, wax crayon. Wax crayon. Yeah. And I need to try that. It gives a different look. You always have to watch for the smaller things when you go to these things. The larger things always seem to take take over in front row and centre, don't they? See, look at this. This is Fred painted. This is proper Fred painted. Yeah, that's lovely. An applique. Look at this. It's all turned edge. I always I thought that was um, fabric painted, but it isn't. It's got some fabric on it. No, that's all turned edge applique. That's lovely. That is. I like the trapanto effect as well. Yeah. Scrappy, scrappy crumb quilts. Oh, somebody was like practicing all the blocks on this one. Oh sure. If you look. Yeah, yeah. And this one is turned. That's pretty. The black background really makes it stand I actually out. like the border. The squares or this? This. I know that's lovely too. That's all turned in. It is. That is not easy. It's too bad the moose went a little more heavily. It's hard to see. It is hard to see that. But it's very good. I do like that one. That's kind of like my sort of style. And yes. your sort of style. Yes. If we were doing the mirror. I do like the applique on this one as well. Again, this is this is raw. This one's raw. Edge. And they've done embroidery on their embroidery machine, or it's either on their. It may be on their um, no, sewing, sewing machine. machine. Yeah. And the words are hand are hand embroidered. They're beautiful. They're oh look, there's daisies. Daisies for my mom. Daisies for my mom. Uh, <laughs> in my garden. There's a lot of this one. Yeah. This kind Turned of style. Edge, okay, yeah. And daisies. Look, daisy daisies. This is interesting. Now, that's printed on there. Or maybe that's fabric. It must be a fabric like that. With um, and then they did the meander all the way around it. That's interesting. And I really do like this one. I do like that one. This is very realistic looking. Another applique one. See, you can do so much cool stuff well, what's with applique. On this one, what's interesting on this one is they've done a traditional quilt block on each one. 
and then they've appliqued over top. Do you know, I actually didn't even notice that. Isn't that a lovely way of doing the bathroom on each one of them? Look at It is, and it's a way of elevating yeah. it a little bit more than just having just a traditional quilt. And each one of these, right, are traditional flying geese. Log cabin. That's a star. I don't know if that's what kind of the name of that. Guess your quilt blocks. This is an Ohio <laughs> star. Like and I do like this one. How fun is that one? It's another great way of doing like a sample like well. Yeah, they just use the same colors, right? And is that one again like a turn edge applique? I've no, seen a lot of well, those. this one is, but this one is traditional, right? The, the rest of these are all good. Now, I like that. Is this because of the color? It's very vibrant. Yeah, so I said the black background really makes them stand out, okay, when you're using a bold color. Who has a favorite? Oh, is this the same quill? This is the same quill. I think they're the same pattern. They are the it's same. The way that they've interpreted them. Yeah. This is the same as the others as yes. well. This one's pretty good. Yeah. They're all good. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. I've seen this a lot. What this is it? It's a Celtic uh, symbol. If you look it up, it's one of those. This is huge. That's cute. That's good. So that's another fun one. I like this one. I think it's pieced. This is all pieced. This is original. Get it together, that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I like the feather from the start. Yeah. <laughs> Something my mum needs to do. Oh, I like this thing. It is brown. My favorite color still. It's just so cute. Because it's so embroidered. Oh, it's on embroidery. It's on the shoe. Yet. What you can do with jeans? With anything, with anything, there's no reason to throw out that. We could do it with the fly part too, right? Eh? Yeah. Pocket. Hey, Mom, I found your quilt. Look it looks like a moomin. This is definitely my mum's quilt. Well, it's not my mum's quilt, but you would love this one. Look at this. Each one is so unique. I've got a funny feeling this is tulip pink. The fabric? No, the the pattern. Yes. It's her city sampler book. Okay, 
Okay, let's check out the... Log cabin. Yeah. But see that one too, you can do so many 